process is as follows. First of all, we put the flame of the torch not very high, and we gently pass the torch, the flame, over the, the glass very quickly so it starts warming up as uniformly as possible, getting, trying to get the heat all over the glass and never putting the flame in one spot for too long. This is to avoid very different temperatures from one side of the glass and the other, which is the main cause for shattering. And we keep doing this till the, the, the glass is, uh, reaches 250 degrees Celsius approximately. That's temperature silicone tolerates. And we expect at that point the silicone should uh, come off or burn in contact with the glass. It is possible to dislodge the silicone from the glass backing by heating it up. Uh, it practically uh, burnt the, the wood, but it still is intact, and the silicone came off practically perfect, except in this part of very thin here, so it was difficult to dislodge. But the rest of it came off perfectly well. Now, with this model, this mold of silicone I've got here, with a model I want to reproduce with aluminum, I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the sample. I'm going to heat this glass at the bottom to, to get to about 250 degrees Celsius or maybe more, because this glass is thicker than the other one, so it might take more time and more temperature to get the silicone off. Additionally, I want to test two different types of silicone. This opaque silicon is special for aquariums, so it doesn't contain acetic acid. This other one is for bathrooms and kitchens, and it does contain acetic acid. And I want to see if there's any difference uh, when uh, putting the torch there and burning the, the border of the silicon. Hmm? So that's what we're going to do now and see how this gets on or off. There you can see how tempered glass explodes <laughs> if you take it to a temperature too high up. Once it 
everything is mature, I've been able to separate the silicone from the, the glass. Not the way I expected to, but uh, yes, I can. Now, uh, one thing that I observed uh, while doing this is that the part of, that had uh, acid acetic silicone came off easier and quicker than the other part, the part with the aquarium silicon that didn't have acetic acid. That's the one that forced me to keep on and uh, raising the temperature up to a point that it, uh, it shattered. Well, here for your knowledge, an experiment that uh, kind of came out okay. Well, I hope you liked it, and if you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click on the bell if you want to be notified of new videos, and please share it with all your friends. Uh, thanks for watching, and goodbye.